Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and um, I have a cute little card for you today, but I wanted to um, talk real quick about what's happening with Stampin' Up! and like my online store. So I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I sell Stampin' Up! products, and on these videos I show you how to use those products that I sell that you can find on my online store. So today is the last day of celebration. And let me explain a little bit about celebration. So Stampin' Up! has three publications out. They have the annual catalog. This goes to the end of um, April. We have, or they have, the mini catalog. This goes to the end of June. And then of course they have the celebration brochure. Now the celebration brochure, that's what I'm talking about. It goes, it's <clears throat> items you place orders and you get rewards more or less. So there's items in here for $50 orders if you're here in the U.S., and then there's items in here. Let me find one for a hundred dollar order. This is one of my favorites right here is the special moment stamp sets. Now, if you follow my videos or you watch me on Facebook, you see that I've used this a bunch of times. This is a fantastic stamp set. Today's the last day you place a hundred dollar order. You get that for free. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator and you can order at my online store which will be either in the description above or below, depending on if you're watching Facebook Live or if you're over on YouTube. Other great things about Celebration is um, host rewards. So if you host a workshop or if you place a large order and get it up to $300, you get the Cobb and Camilla stamp set for free, right? Now, as I said in Thursday's video, I happen to have a couple extra of the Calming Camellia stamp sets. And the next two orders at my online store, like I said, is in the description. I'll send you a stamp set along with your trinkets and your thank you cards. So it doesn't matter what, what the, how much the order is, just a couple orders. I'm a little bit short of my goals. I'd like to get a few more sales in. And so I will send you the Calming Camellia stamp set um, if you place an order using my February host code. Here it is right here. Our online store. Another great thing about Celebration is that if you want to join Stampin' Up! or buy the starter kit, the starter kit is $99. You get $125 um, worth of product of your choice from those other two publications I showed you. Um, and Stampin' Up!'s also, during Celebration, throwing in a couple extra stamp sets in there. Not to mention they throw a paper pumpkin in there and all your business supplies, and they ship it for free. All you have to do is pay tax on the $99 here in the U.S. So that's what Celebration is all about. All right, so now that I've got that all said and done, let's go ahead and let me show you the card. Oh, I don't even have a sample card. Let's just make the card. So I'm going to use, oh, before I go on, also real quick, Paper Pumpkin, they're gonna send an extra stamp set in March. So if you've thought about trying Paper Pumpkin or if you're a subscriber in the past and wanna start back up, make sure that you join or buy a kit, then you plug your code in to paperpumpkin.com before March 10th so you can get the extra stamp set and they ship those out around the 15th to the 20th depending on where you are. But Paper Pumpkin, you gotta love that. Okay, now let's go to our card. So I have the um, Let's Sail stamp set and the coordinating punch here. Now on our card right now, we're just gonna use the stamp set. This is in that mini catalog. I can't remember what my paper sizes are, but if you go to my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com, the link will be in the description. And all the measurements are on my blog. And let's see, I have my stamp pads here. I have Poppy Parade, Pacific Point, so, oops, soft suede, and then I'm going to use some black memento ink. So we're going to start with Poppy Parade. And down here at the bottom of my basic white, which again, I can't remember the size, but it's on my blog. You can find it there. I'm going to just stamp the words here. Hope it's your best day ever. And I'm going to just lay it down on my paper. Let that ink sink in. And looky, there we go. Then we need some water on here. So with my Pacific Point, I'm going to take this little water stamp here. 
set it down here at the bottom, hold that down, let that ink sink in, making sure that I go straight up and straight down so I don't get any ink on the corners of my block or on my paper. And then we're done with Pacific Point. I'm going to put that away for now. And then we have some soft suede. That's gonna be my boat base, I guess you would call it. So I'm gonna ink that up good, making sure, see, since there's lots of room on my block on the corners here that I don't have any ink right here on the corner. Now it's on my finger, but that's better than on my paper. We'll see if I can keep my fingers off my paper, but I'm gonna lay that down right there on top of my water. And then looky there, now we have a boat on the water. It's really cute. Now we're done with the soft suede. I'm going to put that one away and I'm gonna bring back in that poppy parade and I'm gonna stamp some of these sails. Now I'm gonna be really careful that I don't get any ink up here in the corners of my block again. And then I'm gonna set this right on that, I'm gonna call it a stick. I am not very boat <laughs> smart, so I don't, is this called the mass? But anyway, I'm gonna stamp my sail right there. And then with the other stamped image here, I'm gonna set the back sail right here and look how cute you have your little boat okay we're done with that for right now then we're going to bring in that black memento and some cute little birds here make sure i have them the right way and we're just going to stamp those up there in the corner and there we go bada bing bada boom easiest card ever we're going to turn that over put some Adhesive on the back here. And then set that right here on some Pacific Point. And then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. Oh, but I should have got my card base ready. So let's bring in, I have a card base here that is, um, Thick Whisper White, it's just a half sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a fourth. I'm gonna use my bone folder here to get a crisp edge. And then I have a piece of Poppy Parade. Now this is five and a fourth by four. Now these I know because these are measurements we use all the time as card makers. And this is just a mat to lay right here on the front of my card. And there you go. We'll take the dimensionals off of here. And lay that right there on the front of our card. And look how cute and basic, very simple. You later could stamp a happy retirement. Well, in fact, let's go ahead because in that stamp set, it says, and I think this is, Adventure awaits, and I think that would be a happy, oops, upside down, don't do that. Where's my mat? Here we go. When I say where's my mat, I'm talking about the stamp and Pierce mat. This is a great tool for when you're working with the photopolymer or the see-through stamps. It helps you get a, a great image on there. In fact, let's put this back under there, because then I'm gonna take those little birds and stamp them right around my little words here and look how cute the inside of my card is, just like that. Now, if you wanted to take this, right, and since we have the punch that coordinates with the stamp set, let's go ahead and just um, add a little bit to this card. We'll bring in, and I have a strip here. I believe this is one and a fourth inches by four and a fourth, but I'm not quite sure. I'll put the scrap measurements on my blog too. So I'm gonna take these two pieces of this sail and I'm gonna, when I stamp them on here, I'm gonna stamp the points toward the end of the paper. And I'm gonna call, I know this one has three points, but to me this, the top point, we'll use that one. And then this one, I'm gonna put the point toward the top of the paper here. There we go. And then, with that punch. I 
it works nice. You can just slip your paper, your cardstock, into the punch just like that. And then let's do that other one. that one out. Then we have our two pieces of sail here. And let's put some dimensionals on the back of those. I'm going to use a mini dimensional right up here at the top. And then a standard dimensional down here at the bottom. And then we can just lay that little sail right there on top of what we stamped. And that just gives it some more dimension and a little bit more. Wow, so look how cute now that card is with a little bit dimensional on there. Now, what if we wanna take that card and take it just one step further? So, I'm gonna leave this one so you can see what I'm talking about. So I've already stamped everything and popped up that boat, just like I did over here. But what if I took this um, gingham emboss folder and ran that piece of Poppy Parade through that emboss folder. Now if you can see the embossing on there, but it's, I like that for a sailboat. I think that's pretty nice. I'm gonna put some adhesive. Wait, let me bring in my, card base here and I didn't stamp on the inside so real quick I'm gonna make sure that when I scored it the bump is up or the mountain is up and then let's just put that inside real quick with the adventure awaits and those little birds in there Now I have my card base already. I like to stamp first that way. If I mess up, I can always turn it over or cover it up with the front of my card. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in this um, embossed poppy parade and lay that on the front of our card. There we go. And then how about a little bit of Wink of Stella. Now this is just a really nice shimmer brush and I'm gonna color or paint over that Pacific Point water. And I'm gonna be careful because the, um, I think it's the alcohol in the Wink of Stella is gonna move that ink around that we stamped. So I'm gonna kinda use that to fill in. And I think you can see the lighter colors of blue that are now in between those darker, but I'm gonna use, and at the same time, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's given that really nice shimmer. There we go. A little bit of shimmer over the water. Now my dress, my brush is pretty dry, but I like it that way every now and then, as you saw, I shake it down and squeeze it just a little, but I don't want it to come out in big globs. I just want it to be a very light, subtle shimmer. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see it there a little bit, but it's just a really subtle um, shimmer on there. Ooh, and another thing, when you use your shimmer brush or your oh, shimmer brush, wink a still like that, be sure and clean that little bit of blue off. So that way, when you use it on your next project, you start with a clean brush. And it might be stained, but it still works as if it's not stained. So it won't um, get ink, I guess, on your other projects. So the same thing we did before, I'm just gonna take some dimensionals and put that on my card base. And then set that there. And then the last thing it needs is just some gems or some embellishments on there. So I like these resin stars. This is from the baseball suite in the mini catalog. 
But look how cute when you take those. And I'm going to take, I think I want to use these little ones. Let's see if I can pick it up. There we go. And just drop three of those right here on my card. And looky how cute that is now that we've kind of embellished it a little bit and added. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with the plain card like this, which is gorgeous. But then you add a little bit of character or maybe use a little bit extra embellishments that you have on hand. And then you have a wow card. So that's what I have for you today. If you have any questions, be sure and leave a comment and I'll answer them as best I can. And um, have a great week and I'll see you back here Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.